Hello everyone, this is Jim from International Camera Techs. Back with this Hasselblad. Uh, last we left off, I went ahead and um, uh, pulled this mechanism out. We're gonna go through, we're gonna clean all this stuff, we're gonna lube it. Um, I think I remember saying that they just didn't seem to use any lube, and the lube we did use, I'm not really all that thrilled with it. Um, I tend to use a different type of lube, a little nicer. I think it has better wear. Um, so yeah, but you do see a lot like this. But whoever did it actually did a good job. I just, I just, I don't agree with their lube. It may be fantastic, but I just don't agree with it. I'm not really even saying it's wrong, um, except that you just didn't you seem to use it in certain spots. So we go ahead and start taking this apart and um, you can see the rest of it. So. First thing to do is go ahead and take this guy off. This is your charging of your mirror. That's what this lever does right here in conjunction with this guy. So that's kind of a rough system to put back together. So we'll go ahead and pull this guy out. And come on. It's a little bit stuck. There we go. All right, that'll pull this system now into two. All right, lay that off to the side. Um, yeah, let's take it apart. So you got a spring here, this lever. This is what actually does your releasing of the of the um, of blinds. It starts releasing. Now we take this guy out. It's got a collar. Collar is very important. So it keeps in this little set um, set pin. I have that collar, this pin's gonna fall out on you. Okay. And this guy comes out, and I still, I just, just don't see grease. Oof. This guy was a minimalist when it came to grease. Wow. I just don't see where the grease was in this. So, I mean, maybe it's perfect, but oof. Not for nowadays. Go ahead and disconnect the spring, spin it around. You can take it off if you want, leave it on, it really doesn't matter. Well, I don't think it does. We'll find out. We'll go ahead and get this rest of this gear out here. This one's caught in by this guy and this lever up here. Oh, I'm gonna take the spring off. It's just catching my fingers. Sooner or later, I'm gonna put a hole in my finger. Want to do is this guy just really doesn't like to come out too often. It's rare that they fall out. This, this doesn't want to come out on me. That one. Yeah, okay, sorry, my mistake. Let's get this guy out of the way. <laughs> it makes it just so much easier. This is your adjustment for your front here. Some people scribe them in, but there's better ways of doing it. I did put my scribe mark for line that up, should be fine. There you go, this guy should now just want to fall out. Oh, that's that guy. This guy just doesn't want to come out right here. There he goes. Yeah, no, it wasn't that difficult to get in the right position. Okay, it's going to come out now. And it comes and Rotates up, comes out. Still, I'm just not liking the amount of grease. I keep saying that. 
There we go. Alrighty, so now as you look at that, notice these two? It's an alignment issue right there. These pins cannot be in alignment. If they are, then these um, barn doors, when they close, they're gonna smack into one another. So that is a timing issue. I tend to set my timing by going to here, coming back, boom. Set that one against the stop, and that one just one tooth off. That's it. Okay, so as many of you, if you've watched the first one, I kind of lost a spring, wanted to jump on me. I was able to get spring back down again, so now I have to take it apart and see if that spring's gonna come up again. So I'm just praying it isn't bent in a way it makes it come up, but I have a feeling the person who did it did bend that spring. So I'm going to hope and pray that it doesn't come unraveling on me. Hey. Okay. So that's pretty much it all together, uh, all taken apart. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and clean this and wash this. I'm sure people don't need to see me cleaning and washing. Barn doors driven through here, upper and lower. Uh, so I'm getting a nice seal job on everything. So I don't even have to do seals, that's fantastic. And um, please subscribe, if you've got questions, please ask them, leave comments. Um, I'll answer as much as possible, um, and we'll get this thing going. All right, thank you for watching. Take care. Bye-bye.